as a robotics engineer we need to understand there are a lot of servers inside of nav2 of ros2 nav2 stack is very powerful and it's open source let's start understanding the four main important servers that we use for autonomous mobile robots first one map server map server just loads the map so we can understand obstacles in the grid the second one is cost map server cost map server provides us the layers of inflation on the obstacles so we can have secure path planning and execution these are the blue and pink lines around the obstacles that's cost map server next comes the planner server it provides us the global plan from start to goal point all of the obstacles while taking care of those it provides a plan this plan is the global plan but the robot is not moving on it the next server which makes the robot move is the controller server that generates velocities and the local plan this is what makes the robot take action with the local plan local plan also inflates the obstacles a little bit more to be very cautious and deals with the dynamical obstacles so the robot is also moving on the local plan local plan is following the global plan and so the robot moves from one point to another that's most important understanding that you need for nav2 stack and its servers there are a lot of others as well recovery servers that you can add a custom recovery behaviors to the robot when it's stuck or certain conditions so if you like this or you are interested in this check out the link we have a lot more detail inside of it